uh, tuning in today, live and direct. Me and my brother Chris were, are greatly, greatly excited about having you here and teaching you this harmonic scanner, you guys. A lot of people don't know, but this tool right here is making people money daily. Okay, this tool is a part of your membership already. It come with your membership. So it's like, why not use a tool that comes with your membership? You guys, this is 87 to 90% accurate. Okay, so you have this, this tool that is basically giving you the trades. You know, of course you need about 5% of your brain to be able to know when to get in this trade and to know how to manage this trade. But that's why we are here today, to teach you this with some simple, simple, simple rules. So I really just ask that you have an open mind and an open heart as we uh, go over this information that may be you know, new, new to some. So uh, before we even like to start, start, I wanna do something a little different. I wanna, I wanna open up the, the channels. I want you guys to be really relaxed and really focused. I'm gonna have everybody close their eyes. Now, if you're in a car, I definitely don't want you to close your eyes. But if you're somewhere where you can close your eyes, I just want you to close your eyes for a quick second. I want you to take a deep inhale through your nose and release it with a ah. One more time, one more time for me, okay? Inhale deep. Exhale with a sigh. Ah. Right? We gotta open the channel. Sometimes we gotta do a brain dump because this new information is gonna come in and you gotta make space for this, you guys. So let me ask you, before I get started, who is new? Who is new to the harmonic scanner? If you're new to the harmonic scanner, I want you to comment 55 in the uh, chat bar, either live or on Zoom. If you're totally new, I want you to comment 55. Um, I'm about to share my screen with everybody. If you are a guest, somebody has brought you on today to get this information, I want you to just comment guests. I want to see how many guests we have you know, on this opportunity. So today, um, I, let me see, judging off how many people I have new on this class, let me see. I want to kind of, my bad. I want to not focus so much on the, the basics, but before I even start, I, I apologize. Let me go ahead and bring in, um, Chris, and Chris, can you just kind of just come in and uh, share a little bit of what you're going to be uh, showing us tonight, and then I'll go ahead and begin. Okay. He might be currently doing something right now, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get started. So um, I know we got a couple of new people on here, you guys, so if... People who have already been on this call, if you can kind of like chime in and, you know, put the rules in the comment bar so, um, so you know, everybody can have it. And if you're just getting in, please mute your phone so that everybody can hear. I think, Teddy, I think your phone is unmuted. So this is how the harmonic scanner looks, everybody. Right here, when you first log on, this is what this harmonic scanner is going to look like. You get to this harmonic scanner by going to imlharmonicscanner.com. Like over here are different brokers. So look, you literally go up here to patterns. If you cannot see what I'm doing, let me know. And here's the thing, family. I want you to ask questions. Ask questions because you don't ask questions, you're not gonna know. And then if you don't know, you're gonna let you know you're gonna be lost in the sauce. So don't be afraid to ask questions. If you can't see my cursor over here waving this, let me know. So this is how you get to the brokers. Right? There's different brokers, 15-minute chart, hour chart, four-hour chart, day chart. Yeah. Yes. What's... Oh, really? I'm just going in. Mal a minute. Okay. Thank you, love. Okay. How about now, fam? Can y'all see that? 
whoa, I'm glad you stopped me, girl, because I can get to talking. So, <laughs> so um, let me go back, team. So, and let me see how many people that I have that's that's new. Okay, okay, I was going in. I didn't even see. Okay, we got a couple of couple of new people on here. Still new to it. Okay, can't see a scream. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right, cool. Okay, so as I spoke about, you're gonna go up here where it says patterns. This is how you're going to get to the brokers, you guys, right here, right? So if you cannot see this up here, let me know. Say, I can't see it, okay? So you'll go to your brokers, okay? You'll go to your brokers. You have a choice from choosing 15-minute, you got the hour, the four-hour, and a day hour, I mean a day. All that means is if you choose 15 minutes, that means the market is going to be running for 15 minutes before the next candle makes it move. It's move. It's the same thing with the hour and the four hour. So it doesn't matter which broker you choose. Some people like to, if they got, um, you know, if they have Trader's Way, they like to um, use only the Trader's Way, um, you know, calls. But it's totally up to you. I wouldn't get too cerebral with it. I go through all of these, okay? So um, what we're going to do next, and like I said, I'm not going to get too deep on, on things, but I'm going to give you the basis of, you know, before I even get into this trade, you know, there are some things I need to do to set this bad boy up. And um, one of the first and foremost things that I have to do, and um, if anybody doesn't know what we're doing, you guys, we are trading on the Forex market, okay? The Forex market is the largest market out there. It's over $5.3 trillion a day, bigger than the stock market. If you compare the stock market to the Forex market, you're looking at an elephant and a grain of rice. That grain of rice is the stock market, okay? So money moves on this market. So I am teaching you how to grow money and catch money. You know, no longer do we have to worry about, well, how do you make money? We're not learning about making money. We're learning about growing our money, okay? So that's why we're here today. So... One of the things you're going to do is you're going to use your indicator. So let me show you again, right here. You look at the little squiggly lines, a couple bars right here. It says indicators. You're going to click it, right? And I want you to write this down. And some of the family members, they're, they're putting it in the chat bar. So if I'm going too fast, you can go to the chat bar and just copy, you know, what they put in there, okay? So you're going to add something called the Bollinger Band. So this is not really too much a beginner class today, you guys. Um, kind of just want to get straight to some of the strategies. So you're going to add this Bollinger Band five times. As you see, I already have it up here five. But I clicked on this and made it a, you know, a six time. I don't need it six times. But, you know, you just click on it five times and it's going to show up over here. Right? So I see people dropping stuff in the, um, in the comment bar. So, um... Thank you for my rules. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, team. Y'all been paying attention. Okay, showing up and showing out. All right, all right. So, um, before I copy that. So, once you got these Bollinger Bands up, you guys, what you're going to do is you're going to go and you're going to put your coordinates in. So, somebody can just plug the coordinates. If you're watching this live on Facebook, you know, can you please just drop these coordinates in to our family uh, live? If you're watching this from Instagram, the same thing. But you're going to go here. You're going to go to format, you guys, right? You're going to go to input. Your length is always going to be 50. That's the keynote. Maybe you want to put a little star in your piece of paper to remind you and say, hey, the length is always 50. Little keynote, okay? Always 50. This next is going to be two, okay? Now, mind you, I like to do a little cute body uh, uh, a cute little um um cosmetic beauty cosmetic so as you see it changed because i got one of my bollinger bands on here so i like to darken up my bollinger bands look at when i don't darken it how it looks let me show you you see automatically you can't really see what's going on i like to see what's going on so i darken it back up okay so that's how that looks this is optional it's a cosmetic you don't have to change the style totally up to you Right? So I'm going to go to my next Bollinger Band. And if you're just coming in, if you can please mute your phone, I'm going to make that 50, and I'm going to make that 2.5. And I'm going to go 
change the style once again making it dark okay so boom that's that next set i'm gonna go to the third bollinger band change my coordinates 50 and three and look you guys this is so simple this is all you do over and over and over over and over and over when you get on these charts it's the same setup you can teach this to your children this is it. Look, how simple is this for you to come on here and input this? I mean, it don't take a rocket scientist, scientist to do this, right? So this can be shown to anybody. So now, you know, look, it's back up there. What's going on, Wallace? Can you go ahead and mute your phone just for future? You're not loud or anything, but I don't want it to start getting cracking over there. So length, once again, 50, 3.5, right? And if, if you look in the chat bar, somebody has put the coordinates in the chat bar. Um, I'm, I'm changing up my style. All right. My last Bollinger band, you guys, right here. My last Bollinger band. I came. I changed it to 50. Why? Because it's always 50, right? That's what we put on our notes. We put note, star, little star by it. Length is always 50. Okay. And the next one's going to be four. So if you paid attention to those coordinates, you would obviously see the pattern of two, 2.5, 3, 3.5, and 4. Once again, I'm doing my beauty cosmetic. So look, community, before I even start this trade, this is what you're going to do first. So I want you, if that did not make any sense to you, if any part was unclear right now, please let me know. Put it in the chat bar. Don't all speak at once, but put it in the chat bar because today I want you to leave this call on, I want you to be crystal clear. Like, I want it to be clear on knowing how to do these coordinates, how to enter this trade, so you can go ahead and start making pips, you guys. I, I've been cashing out these last couple of days, and I'm going to be showing you some of the trades that I took. So, so do y'all need any help? Does that not make any sense? Please, 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 please let me know. All of you guys should be a skilled trader of the Harmonic Scanner after this class today. That means tonight, when the London session hit, or whatever your favorite session is, you're gonna be in your demo account, you're gonna be knowing everything that I just said, cause you wrote your notes, and you're gonna catch some pips tonight, okay? So next, right, this is the next thing we're gonna do, right, and somebody already put my stuff in there. So now that we have our coordinates up, you guys, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our rules in. And if you can follow these three, that's it, y'all. That ain't that much, right? Let me ask you that. If y'all can follow three rules, right, I want y'all to comment in the comment bar three rules, just three simple rules, right? So give me a second. Um, I want to pull down this thing right here. One second. Let me see what's popping with the – uh. I got all of this popping up here. Okay, so you got these three rules. And I'm trying to, there we go. All right, three rules. Okay, cool, cool. I like to know it. Okay, cool. So I'm about to copy this. Shout out to Emma for being, you know, success like speed, and she sure was on it. So uh, thank you very much, Goddess, for getting um, these rules up here for the team and for the community. We greatly appreciate your service, you know, and what you and what you get for this community. So, um. So I'm about to write these three rules, and I'm going to explain to you. So just, just hang in there with me. You know, like I said, this is just something so simple, simple. We like simple stuff, right? So, all right. Now, our first rule. Now, you guys, I came personally. I use this trade personally and have cashed, has cashed out. So give me one second. I want to make sure this is the one. Uh, okay, so our first rule is I want to find a right pair, so give me one second. Um, let me look at my notes before I tell y'all this first rule. Let me go back to my notes and see what chart I'm about to go to. Okay, hide effects. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, yeah, this is the one. This is the trade that I was in. Now I'm gonna show you how accurate this 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 harmonic scanner is, you guys. You gotta think about it. This scanner is giving you the money. Like I don't know if you're really inner and understanding what I'm saying when I'm saying this. Like this whole scanner is giving you the trade. Why aren't you using this, right? But you are gonna be using it today. So our first rule states that price has to enter our entry zone family okay so like i said i'm not going to go too deep on what the bollinger bands are and stuff we got a lot of stuff recorded you definitely can check uh check to see what that is i explain more in depth what bollinger bands do you know this is the movement average price likes to stay around the movement average line which is right here this red line but our first rule is price has to enter the entry point look you guys you can if you cannot see this word that says entry I'm gonna actually take it I'm gonna put an arrow on it because I want y'all to see this today like I, I want it to definitely be clear to everyone today so if you can if you cannot see where I just drew an arrow and showed y'all this is entry I want y'all to comment I cannot see if you cannot see that if it's, if it's not clear for you okay so that's the entry our and this is the price candle we make this bigger for y'all right this D price is this candle right here y'all see this let me move this out the way price is this whole blue candle that y'all see right here right and so price has to enter the entry zone this green line going all the way across is your entry point. That means price, it touched it. Look, it's touching it. Okay? And if you if you do it even a little bit more closer, you can see the tip of the wick is even touching price even more. So for me, that's good enough for me. You know, for me, it's good. I would definitely, you know, still get in that trade. Now, you might be like, well, I want it to go all the way through. And that's up to you. But for this particular right here, I, this is good enough for me. This has passed my first rule. So did that make sense for y'all? Could y'all honestly go on this chart by yourself, even if you're brand spanking new to Forex? Could you honestly say that you could, if you had this in front of you right now and I wasn't here, could you be able to see price enter the entry zone? If you couldn't do it without me being here, say I, I couldn't do it. Let me know. Because if not, we want to get you to doing it. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, don't be, don't, don't feel no type of way. Like, don't take the emotion out of it. I want you to be able to take this and make some pips today. Because when I tell you I've been doing very, very great, I have, right? And so, if nobody had any questions. That means when we get off this call, y'all want to know what rule this means. I don't want y'all to hit me up in my inbox and be like, Isis, I still don't get it. How, how, what does it mean when price has to enter the entry zone? Because now's your time to speak, okay? Yes, love. Somebody's not clear? No, that's just, it's just saying that um, that's the first rule has been passed. Because we want three rules, remember? So, it's, it's this candle right here. Hold on. Let me, um, let me make, let me uh, get my little, my little, let me get this little brush. It's going to be a little darker. So, I want you to see which candle I'm talking about. So, this candle right there, this, this blue candle. This is your, your, your entry. So let's just imagine hypothetically. Whoa. Hold on. Let's just imagine hypothetically none of this is here. Right? You don't even you don't even uh, see the rest of this stuff on the chart. Like I can't move it all the way over. But you don't even see all this stuff. All you see is this D candle. This is your in, this is your uh, your price candle. 
No. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much for uh, stepping up and asking that question. You're welcome. So, yes, yeah, so that is the price uh, candle. This candle, not the D, but the candle itself. I'm going to move this out the way. You see that it is touching the entry price. So thank you very much, Stacey, for uh, you know bringing some clarity for yourself and maybe somebody else who, who wanted to know as well. So um, I'm going to just move this out the way. Okay, so next, you guys, the price has to penetrate at least two of our Bollinger Bands. Now, family, I want you all to pay attention. Okay, these right here are Bollinger Bands. Okay, hold on. Right, that's the Bollinger Band. That's the Bollinger Band. When I'm saying that, I'm saying the color of those bands. Right, look at my arrow. It's touching these bands. These Bollinger Bands is like rubber bands. Price likes to bounce off of them, and it likes to bounce to this middle middle line, which is a moving average line, right? Okay, so we also have Bollinger Bands at the bottom. And see, Chris is going to come on here shortly, and he's going to teach us how to really read these Bollinger Bands. Because these Bollinger Bands, when they're turned and squiggled a certain way, they mean certain things. So, um, like I said, this is kind of, it's not really so much beginner today. We're going to just be doing some chart analysis and, um, you know, going a little bit more deeper into these Bollinger Bands. Whoa. Okay. So, um, okay. So, I hope you can kind of see these. I try to draw these, you know, the best for my ability. But you can kind of, I'm pretty sure you get the point on uh, what a Bollinger Band is, right? These things, right? So, Rule 2 says price has to penetrate. What does it mean to penetrate, to go through, to go in, right? At least two Bollinger Bands, two, dos, right? Dos. Swai, if you speak German. Dos, if you speak Spanish, right? I don't know no other languages. So just those three. So look at this. Let's move this out the way. Y'all see this blue candle right here? This whole blue candle right here. Let me see if I can make that even bigger for y'all because I want y'all to see it. Okay. Uh, trying to use some of these little fancy dancy tools people be using. Okay. So, give me one second. Trading is patient. You got to be patient to trade. You can't be rushy, rushy, trying to hurry up. You gotta really be patient. That's what everything in life. So look, this uh, I'm trying to make it small. Let me see. This candle right here, where you kind of see the shadow. It now, if you can't see this candle, let me know. Right, this blue one. We're still on the price candle. So it says it has to penetrate two Bollinger Bands. Well, when we move this harmonic pattern out the way, we see that it's penetrating two of our Bollinger Bands. It's penetrating this one, and it's penetrating that one. Look, here it goes. Let me move it again. Look, and matter of fact, I'm going to take this off because I'm pretty sure you get the, the uh, point of which one I'm talking about. Okay, boom. So look. It's touching two Bollinger Bands. Now, if that does not make sense, step up. Let me know because I don't want you to come to me later and be like, well, what does it mean for it to penetrate two Bollinger Bands? I'm like, well, why didn't you ask me earlier? So does that not make sense? Can you not see that our rule two has been confirmed? If you cannot see, let me know. All right, I'm moving on to rule number three. So rule, okay, hold on, I got something. Okay, I got it. Okay, cool. So rule number three, so everybody should know by now, and if you don't, guess what? The surprise is out the bag. This move right here is a sale. We know it's a sale because the money's on the bottom, the stop loss is on the top. Money on the bottom, stop loss on the top. We know it's a sale. Okay, if you don't know, now you're about to know, 
that these blue candles are bullish candles. That means that when you see this, it's buy mode. That means it's a buy. This market's a buy. See, unlike the stock market, you make money on the Forex market even if the market's going up or down. That's why we love to trade Forex, right? And so this is a sale. So that means this next candle, the very next candle after the price candle, which is right here, price, needs to be a red candle because the red candle is a bearish move. And we know the bearish is a sale. Okay? A sale. So that means it says you have to see a confirmation candle. Red candle forming if it's a sale. Guess what? Red candle because it's forming because it's a sale, right? Now, does that make sense? If that don't make sense, let me know. We are looking at the chart and the fresh trade, but please do not try to enter the trade. Yes? Yes, ma'am. You're welcome so kindly. Um, like, cause see, if you look, it almost touched that third one. You know, so this gives a little extra sauce. You know, it's like going to the uh, pizza place and you already got some tomato sauce on there, but you want a little bit more tomato sauce. It's the same thing when you get that third Bolger band. It's like, oh, okay, I got a little extra sauce, okay? So um, so I hope that made, uh, made sense for you. So um, so we know this is a sale. And I like the uh, question that you put in there, Shannon. Because I'm going to clarify that on the whole take profit thing. So look, you guys, it has passed all three of our rules. So now, Stacy, that it has passed all three of our rules, now I would look at getting into the trade. Because it passed all three of our rules, right? And so now that that's being said, look, now I personally took this trade. So what I do is I go to the graph, Right? I go to I go to tradingview.com and I like to mark up the charts and stuff here, right? So earlier, I forgot when I came in the trade. Let me look at my notes. I came in this trade. What was what's today? I came in this trade yesterday, and uh, I think like the morning time or something. So I seen it as it was making this flag. See, this is the flag pole. You got the flag pole going all the way up, then you kind of got this little squiggly lines you know this is what you would consider like a flag right so i started to see it you know do this and the scanner itself let's go back to the scanner look the scanner called the sale and then look at another thing that we use now i'm not going to go deep into it but if you were on some of our previous classes the rsi when the rsi is above 70 somebody put that in the comment bar please if the rsi is above 70 that means the market is overbrought. That means that you're, you're going to be looking for a sale. Now, is this always 100% um, accurate? No, but you're using this to go along with the rest of your chart analysis. So let me go back here. So I had I already uh, called the trade because of the scanner did. So as you see, this was take profit one. It already went past take profit one, right? Look, let me go back. So when you're doing, when you're on the hour chart, the one, the one, the one, the one day chart and a four hour chart, you want to focus on taking take profit one, which is right here. You see where it says TP number one, right here, TP number one, and it says 1.70138. That's take profit number one. The scanner says you're going to at least make take profit number one. It has done that it has done it that means you would have gotten this trade like i got in this trade <laughs> you you would have some money right now in your account so the scanner don't lie the bands don't lie look and then now more aggressive traders now beginners keep in mind listen don't try to go out there showboating all right i had to learn this myself beginners you want to stay at take profit one or the MA line, whichever comes first. This is the MA line, moving average line. So if this moving average line was closer or came before this line right here, take profit, then you would have took your profit at the MA versus the uh, take profit. 
Now, let me say that again slower. And if it doesn't make sense, let me know. Anytime you're trading H1, H4 in the day chart, your focus is to get take is to go to take profit one or the MA line, whichever one comes first. In this instance, the take profit is before this line right here, which is the moving average line. So that means we're going to strive to do here. Now, if you are a more aggressive trader, right? A more aggressive, you know, you've been doing this for a while. You know, you've been doing this in your demo for a while. You know, you've been seeing success from the strategy in your demo. Then you can take you can take that risk and you can do to the MA line um, or go a little further. So what I did is I got in this trade and I got in it two times. I got in at the take profit line and then I got in at the MA line. Look, it has passed the MA line. Let's go back to trader view. Look. My MA line is this um this green line, y'all see. I'm sorry. Wait, hold on. What chart is this? Um one second, one six four MA. So your MA is about like right here. So it kind of has took profit at the MA line, right? So this is just from today, family. This is just from today. So let me ask you, were those three rules, do you still not understand those three rules? Because I want to, um, I'm going to pass it to Chris. I'm going to show you one more thing, but I want to make sure before I pass it and before I uh, go on to the next that you're under, if you understand that, right? Yeah, you could have did that too. Um, we're going to be showing you how to do a, a, a trailing uh, stop loss as well, uh, Stacy. Where is your entry point? Entry point is right here. Entry point is right here. Entry point is always where this D is. Right below the D is going to be entry point, okay? Entry point is right here, okay? So let me show you. Let me show you. What, some. I think somebody's phone is off mute or something like that. I'm echoing. Okay, so let me show you one more trade that I cashed out on today. Um, let me see uh, one more, and I'm not gonna. I'm gonna show you just one more, and I want to show you how to graph your own harmonic scanner pattern on. Sh sure, love. Let me go back for you. Um, give me one second. <clears throat> okay. So, and maybe mute your phone really quick so I won't echo. Okay, love. So, this is what I would do. So, the third rule is let you know that since this is a sale, right? And since this is a sale, this candle needs to close completely on the hour. It needs to close completely. That means I would have came around. Now I would have. Let me take. Let me. Let me. Let me put this. So it's an hour. So honestly, I probably would have waited till about ten minutes to see that it will be closing. About five. I said about five minutes to wait for this to close, and then I will get in. So you can wait five to ten minutes before the hour is closing. So that means about five minutes into it closing. You can go away. Go ahead and get in. See what happens is if you start to get in it. When the hour is fresh, it's doing so much, it has a chance to retrace. So if you're going to get in here, you want to at least wait to about 5 to 10 minutes before closing, before getting in. But honestly, I would have got in right here on this um, on this candle, right at the beginning when it starts forming. Because I already got my third rule. My third rule says, have to see confirmation candle. Red candle forming on a sale. Blue candle forming on the buy. If it was a buy, we would wait for a blue candle. Um, did that make sense, goddess? Okay, cool. So I'm going to do one more example really uh, really fast because I want that to, like I said, I want you to really get that. Um, if this is not making sense, please, please, please comment in the chat bar. So I'm going to show you just one more pair that I cashed out on. 
And see, what happens is the harmonic scanner repaints. Okay, it repaints. What does that mean, Isis? That means, for example, uh, let me see. Where did I get in at? I do a TP take profit. Uh, okay. So, for example, at one a point in time, this harmonic pattern, right, was way back here. Right? You ever seen a chart? Let me show you an example before I, before I go. Uh, let me show you an example of what I mean. Um, let me go to this one. So what I mean by repainting is like, uh, that's not long enough. Uh, okay, so let's see. Old, old pair. That should be old enough. Okay. What I mean by repainting, I mean, look at this. It has played, it has kind of played out. So it didn't play out that much, but pretty soon it's going to continue to go, continue to go, continue to go. And then it's going to break off and start brand new, fresh again like it always does. So it's the same exact trade, but it just broke it off to that next point or where that next candle is, right? So that's how you can kind of follow your movement. So now let me show you the pair that I uh, came on, came in on and uh, secured bank on it, okay? So I came on this yesterday at about uh, 6.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because I like to write what time I get on these trades. And so it was set up a little different, right? It was set up a little different. Um, so let me just go here. Uh, my bad. Let's see, take profit is... Zero zero six four seven zero zero six four seven uh zero well I say zero zero hold on all right so times remember remember what it is oh six six zero four seven okay six six zero four seven okay about and sometimes you know you can get it right about right there so um take profit for that chart earlier like i said it looks a little different now because it broke off but yesterday it looked a little bit different but we still can see that the scanner called it going to take profit so it has made the take profit right it kind of if you see like the wicks hit the take profit that's why i like to go here because I feel like you can see clearer. That's why I like to come over here and, and kind of like graph it a little bit. Because you can see a little clearer. But, um, so this anyway, this right here may take profit one a little bit earlier today. And so if you got in on that trade or if you were following this trade, you would have also uh, made money from this trade as well. So, um, that kind of wraps up the three, uh, the three rules per se. Now, if those three rules, oh, I, I want you to also know something. Now, if you can use the same strategy on a 15-minute chart. Now, I need to write this part down. Same strategy with the same rules, with the same Bollinger Band coordinates, but the only thing you're going to do is you're going to do 10 pips and dip. You're not going to go to take profit one. You're not going to go to the AMA line. Listen to me. 10 pips and dip. How many pips are you going to do when you're doing a 15-minute chart? If y'all can put it in the comment bar, let me know. How many pips are you going to do? Right? Okay? Another thing about the stop loss. When you're doing a buy, you want to subtract seven pips from your stop loss. When you're doing a buy, you want to subtract seven pips from your stop loss. When you're doing a buy, you want to subtract seven pips from your stop loss. When you're doing a sale, you want to add seven pips to your stop loss. Why? Because... Many different brokers do different spreads. You know, different the spreads is different. So you want to be able to give yourself some wiggle room. You know, it's like being in a cramped car without a leg space. You want to have a little bit of leg space, right? Well, price money wants a little bit of space to be able to move around. So that's why you are doing your stop loss. Stop, stop loss. If you don't know how to calculate, um, you know, your pips. You definitely um, uh, go back to the uh, basics and how to calculate a PIP. But pretty much, if you're thinking about the last number, let me show you. Uh, stop loss. So what you would do is you would like 
minus like, okay, this is your stop loss. What's this? A going up for a boss, you want to subtract seven. So what you would do is you would add seven to this number eight right here. Let me show y'all. Like I said, you can go back to the basics for this to figure out how to uh, calculate pips. But um, you would, that, that eight right there, that first eight, you would uh, add seven pips to um, to that right there, okay? So, um, you know, definitely if you if you don't know how to uh, do the pips, uh, check that out, okay? So, before I move on to showing you how to, uh, how, um, you know, uh, how to uh, let Chris come on here and show you how to uh, really work these Bollinger Bands, did the three rule, if you do not understand the three rules, let me know now before I pass this to Chris. And I thought, okay, Emma. Uh-huh. Yes, you're gonna do it regardless. It, uh, all rules of all the rules apply across the board. The only time it starts getting different is when you're when you're um when you're going for your money, when you're going for your take profit. That's the only thing that's gonna be different between the 15 minute chart and the hour, the four hour, and the day. So yes, the, the stop loss is still the same. Yes, for example, this is a good example. If you were to get, if you was in this trade, look at this. The MA line came before the take profit line. Oh, if the, this is a mat, this is a 15 minute chart. But let's hypothetically say this is an hour chart, just for example purposes. Okay, this is the MA line, so that means this MA line came before this take profit line. So in this instance, you would just take profit. You would, you know, you would put your ruler up here. You will look across and you will see what those numbers are and you will put that into your MetaTrader 4. All right, that make that makes sense for you? All right, thank you very much for stepping up and um, answering the question. So I thought I was gonna be able to go deeper into diversions and, um, and grafting the harmonic pattern, but I see that uh, we still need to focus around the basics a little bit and that's cool because I don't want to leave people, but I, de I definitely highly recommend that on the downtime of when we're not doing this class, that you go back to the recordings, you check out the recordings, because the recordings is going to give you the basic stuff, right? So that means when you come on here, we can already be ready to roll, ready to go, and analyze the charts and stuff. So, um, so yeah, so definitely check out our recordings. If you don't know how to get our recordings, we have a Facebook group called Trust the Bands, please know that you need to be an active member. So if you are just here by an invite, please get back with the person who invited you on this call today and see how you can become a member of this community and, and secure the bank like we're securing the bank. Um, but you definitely can be in the Facebook group if you're an active member, meaning that you have paid your subscription because um, we're going to be giving signals. And we also have a Telegram group. So if you're not active and you haven't paid your bill, Man, after doing this class today, you definitely want to get your bill paid so you can use this harmonic scanner. So I talked enough. I definitely want to get my brother on here, Chris, because um, he's going to drop the sauce and close us up. So, Chris, without further ado, you know, thank you for being patient. Are you ready to drop the sauce?